Where's mommy? Mommy's with the maggots now. Hey guys, it's Chris, and in today's video, I'm reviewing Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise is now available on digital storefronts and streaming on Max. Today's video is sponsored by Ray's Energy by Rap Sport. Use my coupon code, you'll get 15% off on all items on the website. Demand more. Be more. Let's get into it. Cousin Teresa and Jessica and Jessica's boyfriend, Caleb, are chilling at the lakeside cabin when an ill Jessica scalps Teresa. And she basically grabs Caleb's drone and sends it right into her face. And she falls right into the water. And then Caleb jumps into the water to save her, but he, she basically grabs him, pulls him underneath the water, and then throws his head onto the dock, decapitates Caleb. And then Jessica levitates out of the water, and you can literally see the title cards rising behind her. Evil, dead, rise. So I do like the opening of the film. Why are we learning something about Jessica? What's so special about this girl in the opening and her cousin Teresa and Jessica's boyfriend, Caleb? Yeah, because she was one of the patrons that lived in the apartment building that had all the deadites running around, deadite Ellie. One day earlier, Beth visits her sister, Ellie, at the Mandy apartment buildings. Basically, New York City's apartment buildings. Her sister, Beth, visits Ellie and... They're just hanging out. They're just talking. You know, Ellie's telling her about her husband. Like, you know, he likes to pay child support from afar. The kids go and get some pizza. And then while they're in the parking garage, an earthquake happens. And, you know, earlier in the film, one of the kids mentions that the apartment building was on top of like an old bank. And because of that earthquake, it reveals a chamber underground. Danny crawls through that chamber, you know, gets into this room. It's deserted. It's like an old bank. And he finds the Book of the Dead. In this one, it's called Narama Damatu. And we learn that this book is actually one of three volumes. So in Army of Darkness, we see these three fake Necronomicons or fake Book of the Dead. But it actually, this movie acknowledges that there isn't three fake Necronomicons. There's just three different volumes of each one of the Book of the Dead. So in... Evil Dead Rise, it's the Narama Damatu, where I'm pretty sure the other Evil Deads, it's the Necronomicon. I think it was the first one or second one, but you know, this book is a little bit different and it gives me a lot of Harry Potter vibes because it's got like teeth on the side and teeth right where you open it. And it just gave me Harry Potter, vi Harry Potter vibes the way the design of the book. Danny also finds three phonographic records in the chamber. Danny plays one of the records and we learn that the, these priests were trying to, you know, destroy the book. And then one of the priests reads the Latin, reads the incantation, incantation from the book and sends, you know, summons the deadites onto the apartment building. And that's basically how it goes. You know, you never read the Latin in an Evil Dead movie. You know that it summons the deadites and that's what the priest does because Danny plays one of these records and not realizing that he's summoning the deadites onto the apartment building. Now, it's something I did like. I like how they updated the iconic like tree scene where in the original and even in the Evil Dead remake, we do see the tree go inside somebody and it possesses them. And they kind of do the same thing in Evil Dead Rise, but instead of it being a tree, Ellie's trapped in this elevator and all the wires grab her and hang her up inside the elevator. <laughs> You see a shock and then it goes dark and imagine tree branches, but in this one, it's wires going inside Ellie. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> After the deadites are summoned onto the apartment building, the evil dead antics ensue. Where's mommy? Mommy's with the maggots now. <laughs> Bridget eating a wine glass because she's, you know, she does get turned into a deadite eventually. She's sitting there on the counter eating the wine glass. Cassie and Beth jam a pair of scissors right into Ellie's eye. Ellie slaughters the neighbors. I'm just pointing out my favorite. When Bridget grabs the cheese grater and slices it against uh, Beth's leg, and you can see where it, like, it literally looked like the cheese grate peeled her leg. <laughs> I was like, ugh, that gave me chills. That's why there's a cheese grater in the background. <laughs> Somebody's going to get that reference. Like, oh yeah, one of the deadites used a cheese grater. I, I got it why it's in the background. That's really a big thing with Evil Dead and Evil Dead Rise. Is a lot of them, 
even this one, it's bloody, and that's what makes it Evil Dead. It's really bloody, and <laughs> I really like how there's some quotable lines, but, you know, there's a lot of quotable lines in each one of the Evil Dead movies. This is my boomstick, <laughs> Army of Darkness. <laughs> Groovy. So, I do like how Evil Dead Rise keeps the formula of Evil Dead. So it's like, yeah, it's more Evil Dead, but isn't that a good thing? Where it actually feels like it's still part of Evil Dead, but it's still something new and fresh. The finale is pretty good, too. It's not one of my favorite Evil Dead finales, but it is one of the best. I do like when Ellie, Bridget, and Danny, they merge into this, like, three-headed monster called the Marauder. I actually had to look it up. I just thought it was called the Three-Headed Monster, but on Evil Dead Wiki, it goes off the Marauder. Or when Cassie and Beth are chilling in the elevator and it starts filling with blood and then it opens up and it splends out, it spears out all over the all over the floor like when the elevator door opens. It reminded me of the, a lot of the Shining. It gave me a lot of Shining vibes. Or when they even get to the apartment garage and the Marauder's trying to kill Cassie and Beth grabs a chainsaw and right in the middle while she's getting slowly sucked back into the wood chipper. And then while Danny and Beth get sucked in, Bridget holds Ellie's head down with the chainsaw as it's getting sucked right back into the wood chipper. It's getting shredded. I did like that, you know. It is bloody, but not probably the bloodiest finale of an Evil Dead movie. I'd probably give that to the Evil Dead remake, where it literally rains blood. But this one's just as bloody, and it does feel, you know, fresh and new. Even though if the Murata does look like something out of, like, Dead Space or the Callisto Protocol. Overall, Evil Dead Rise is more Evil Dead. And I think that's a good thing. I don't like when franchises steer away from what they know is good like steer away from the formula too much and evil dead rise does not do that there's a good finale i think ellie as a dead eye really steals the show and like i said i like how the opening takes place after the events of the actual movie the wood chipper kill will have you smirking from ear to ear it's a good cgi kill and i think it was really executed really well Evil Dead Rise is a demonic delight. Groovy. I give Evil Dead Rise a B. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.